Hi Fox, Enrique here, how's it going? So yeah, I made this uh, character creator for my game and I made this in another project just for learning and messing how it's supposed to work and yeah, as long as I was adding features and content and solving problems and it was working nicely I realized that it would be a good idea to share this with the Godot community and to make some videos in the way that you can learn some specific parts or you can tweak it, extend it do whatever you want with it so yeah what are we going to cover mainly this is not going to be like a step-by-step -step tutorial but a general overview of how everything works and how everything is made so for example we're going to cover how a modular character works how to export it separate in the way that you can change the message later in game um, how to load it in code, uh, we are going to see what the code does in this part, more or less. And let me open this. We are going to cover how to scale the bones, not scale, but do it. Um, we are going to cover how to make these uh, mesh grabbers for blend shapes tweaking, and how to how this uh, interface works how to save presets, load your own presets for including that uh, with a, a snapshot, uh, how to randomize and make disgusting people, um, how this interface works in the way that it feeds the character with data, how the character receives the data and how the character saves itself for in-game purposes and loads itself so it is pretty it's pretty nice so there you have it so there are some some problems that I'm having and the fact is that I wanted to release it soon because I want to work on my game so uh, there are some issues that are not solved that for example um, uh, yeah the, the rotation of the feet doesn't match the animation. I don't know if I did something or what's happening, but it's not correct. Uh, then I'm having problems with the roughness that looks weird sometimes. That, like it reacts differently depending on the color of the albedo map or the color of the skin. And yeah, for example, look how it looks here like if it was metallic I don't know what's happening I don't know if it's okay it's a thing of the render or I'm doing something wrong I don't understand it at the moment but uh, yeah uh, also there are some problems that you have to face when you make these modular characters uh, and it's like each part is going to have a vertex normals pointing in, di in different directions I think I will cover this because uh, you can fix this problem in Blender it requires work, but it's not difficult. And um, then typical problems that you are going to face with the with the textures. This, for example, is hand painted, but there are some layers, like spots, some, some procedural layers that never going to to match perfectly unless you fix it uh, with a lot of work. And so, but more or less, we are going to to leave it as it is. Um, what else? I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see when I'm doing the video. So, okay. So, see you in the next video.